and welcome. It's a good day to be on the farm. My name is Chuck and this is my survival series on Western Wilds. And we are ready for a next upgrade. So this little far APN mini baler has been served us very well as has this autoloader that we've leased. I don't know why I brought the autoloader back because um, we can just dismiss that from the leases, but we're going to remove um, we're done with the mini bales basically. So uh, let me go ahead and return this one like so. And before we return that one, we're going to do a couple things. I want to just look at our stats. So looking here, that mini baler has produced us 571 mini bales of grass. And with that, we have made approximately just shy of $15,000. So it's been good to us. But um, as you saw, may have saw in the last episode, in that time lapse, I hit the bale limit, which is 200 bales. I did not realize that the mini bales would also trigger at 200, which means we couldn't even do that whole field in mini bales before we had to stop, pick them up, sell them, come back, pick them up again. I'm ready to move on to something different. So there is a bale limit on the console. That's kind of why we're going to go ahead and make this change. So we've got 7,631 right now. We're going to go down here first. We're going to repair it. Then we're going to repaint it because when you repaint, you actually get more than the money that you invested in. So now we're going to go ahead and sell this thing for $7,022. So we're going to sell that. Now we've got $13,000 available to us. So a couple of things that we can do. Uh, but number one, my plan is to get um, a forge wagon. And we're going to switch to forge wagons for a while. This was the smallest one I could find on the mods for the console, which is this Pottinger Boss Alpine 211. And it's got three different sizes, um, a unfolded, or excuse me, a folded, a half folded, and an unfolded here. They're all the same cost. We're just going to go with the half unfolded. This one requires 50 horsepower, which is exactly what our current tractor has. Of course, it's $26,000, so we're going to have to lease it at this point for $13,000. 336 and that leaves us 12 294 which is just enough um, for the things that I want to get so we're going to also get a new tractor that's right it is time to upgrade to something that has a front three point um, which is going to be this zetter here it's a $10,000 Zetter. It does not have a whole lot of horsepower. It's only going to take us up to 59, but it does allow for a three point attacher on the front here. Um, nope, not front loader, excuse me, attacher. You can do front weight, front weight or a three point for $2,000. So this will allow us to get this Zetter like so. And then lastly, that will allow us to get this front mower on here as well, which is 2100. I believe we'll have just enough to lease that, yes, for 107. So there you have it. I will get all this equipment picked up and taken back to the farm, and then we will show it off. And yes, you guessed it, some more time lapses. But I just wanted you guys to be along for the ride. We are moving on from the mini bales, and we will be just pulling this um, big pottinger with our. John Deere 710 and this one I'll just show you the front attacher you've seen the you've seen the rear attacher before but here's our Zetter and again it's only 59 horsepower it's not a big jump but having a front attacher is a big jump for us so I'm gonna cut it there I will see you guys back at the farm when we try these things out
Thank you.